Hi guys, how's it going? It's Neepy here, and today I'm going to talk about quite a serious issue. Something besides from what I talk about on my other videos, which I'm sort of going and leading this channel into a bit of a discussion topic because I want to get back into the community, alright? I want to get back and be a real pillar. And I'd have thought of something back in season one. There was a character that dominated the competitive scene. We're not talking about, you know, Warlord. We're not talking about Shigoki. We're talking about PK. Alright? Back in Season 1, I admit I played her, right? I like playing PK. Admittedly, she was, to me, the shit. I'd log on every day, play some games, get some... 108 gear and just go absolutely mental, absolutely off. And that's got that's what got me thinking. Why haven't I played Peacekeeper as much as I used to? And I'm thinking to myself as well, I'm not really seeing as much Peacekeepers in the world as what I used to either in the game. I'm here to just sort of break that shit down. I'm just sort of here to have a think and just talk and see why Peacekeeper isn't what she used to be. From being literal S tier when it comes to Dom, when it comes to duels back in Season 1, compared to now when everyone has such a good firm grasp over the game and why nobody plays her anymore. In my opinion, I reckon Peacekeeper is a great character. 100%. Alright? She's got her properties. And personally, the way you play her, she can be good. But some people just don't play her to the extent of what could be an S tier viable. I may be talking out of my ass here sometimes, but... I feel like Peacekeeper is a good character and it has its properties. Now compared to season one she actually did get a rework which was about two seasons ago and in my opinion with the whole zone flicker bug being removed I feel like without her getting the rework she was pretty trash. Everyone could block her shit. Everyone could um, possibly parry her without, without, you know, any sort of real skill. Because after playing the game, you realise and you see just how, you know, easy it is to parry 500 MS. Her zone was probably the strongest thing going for her. And... I reckon that, <sighs> fuck, I reckon that removing the zone flicker indicate sort of made her weaker, and that's what people went from, alright, you had Warden, which Warden's zone is actually pretty easy to parry, and when that shit had flicker on, you'd screw yourself, you wouldn't really have a clue where he was coming from. And the flicker bug was just, you know, there to be annoying and you didn't really know where they were coming from. And, I mean, it, it, was a, it was a harder way of opening people. It was actually easy to open people up with the turtle bug, with the flicker bug, because there were less turtles. And I personally think that uh, the flicker bug was good in the game, but compared to now... People look back at Peacekeeper and think, shit, this character is not good. So they switch to Shinobi, they can switch to Shaman, they can switch to all these new fancy ST heroes, Berserker and shit, but Peacekeeper, whatever happened? Like, I mean, Peacekeeper has its good properties, and now, ever since the rework, what you can do is that you actually can go from a zone attack into a top bleed, and that shit comes out extremely fast. You can even do, uh, 
a soft faded heavy into a bleed and the range on that actually catches people off guard quite a bit i reckon it's a great mechanic as well and because of that you could safely let a peacekeeper fully charge the zone go while people think it's going to be a top bleed or attempt to parry on that and that's basically it all right i mean people will freak out and I'm starting to think to myself, I reckon Peacekeeper is a good character. Just people do not play her as what they used to be, alright? Back in Season 1, you'd have all these try-hard new PKs coming around playing it. I remember Cypher PK playing PK. I remember King Richard playing PK. I remember all these guys back in the day playing Peacekeeper and... They just switched to other things. I mean... I reckon, personally, Peacekeeper, oh, this might be some meme stuff saying here, but I reckon, because of the turtle meta, she's a lot harder to open people up, and one of the reasons why I feel like nobody plays her anymore is due to how hard it is to open someone up. Uh, compared to a character like Berserker, or where his... His fainted lights and his fainted heavies are so quick, uh, and it becomes a little bit unpredictable about what he's going to do if he cannot react to it. And even Shaman, Shaman's a good opener, and even Shinobi, I have to say Shinobi is good in the aspect that he can quadruple dodge, but Peacekeeper's just sort of there. I mean... You see people playing a Roshi still for the aesthetic, but you barely see anyone playing Peacekeeper. And like I don't know, it's just a, it's just something I wanted to talk about, but I mean I don't know, you you barely see anyone play PK. I reckon PK was a top character back in the day. Now it's just a shadow of its former self and popularity, but I mean, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll probably make some more bullshit discussion videos about balance later in the week or some crap. But anyway, um, uh, I'll catch you later. Uh, follow me on Twitch. And um, yeah.